Hey, I'm Jenna Fisher, and I am in the transport program with Dr. Maggie Yu. For years, I've struggled with adrenal fatigue, asthma, arthritis, and hip pain, and really heavy periods. I'm in the transform program so that I can be more active, have more energy, I can balance my hormones and inflammation. I'm vlogging my journey so that you can share this experience with me. My name is Jenna Fisher. Last week, I was reporting on my concern about traveling and staying gluten-free and maintaining my water intake and just staying true to the program while traveling in some uh, states that aren't very gluten-free friendly. <laughs> also, I found out they're not very uh, organic produce friendly, but that being said, I made it work. I, I'm super excited. I, I got back home and kind of reflecting on how it worked, you know, what helped me be successful on that trip with my water, trying to balance my sugar and getting my modules done, the work that's required as well. So I kept in mind something I've learned from Allie's nutritional calls, which is, she says, failing to plan is planning to fail. And that is so true. I did a lot of planning. I brought snacks for traveling that were gluten-free, um, had protein, fiber, and fat. And I did drink a lot of water because I found that that makes me feel really good. And I know traveling can take that out of you. So you might need a little extra when traveling. But then when I did get to my destination, I went to a supermarket that I know has produce. And let me tell you, the Midwest does not have great organic produce like they do here in California, which I knew that, but uh, I think I found like an organic red pepper for $5. <laughs> they had strawberries for like $10. So it's a little bit tricky in other parts of the country. So when we went on those travels, I did buy some organic hard boiled or organic eggs and I hard boiled the whole dozen and just took those on our road trip. I also had a cooler bag with, you know, ice in it for some like coconut yogurt, some flax hemp seed mix that I could put on top of the yogurt, some organic apples, just really trying to stick to the program. And I think also what really helped me be successful was connecting with my pods, staying in touch with them, also connecting in the Facebook groups, in the mastermind calls, listening to people who've also traveled and been successful. You know, what are their tips? What snacks do they take? How they've made it work. And so that was really helpful in my planning process. Lastly, and possibly the most important, I had a sense of accountability. I felt like I know all these women and men on this program, on this journey with me together are doing this and I want to be successful with them. I felt accountable. Like I needed to do it <laughs> too. I want to come back and say, I did this and I know it. There's other people struggling with the same things and they are succeeding as well. So it was really nice to know that I had that support and that accountability piece. I was able to also keep up with the modules using the internet where I could. I paid for some internet service on the, on the flight. When I didn't have it, I used my iPhone hotspot so that I could maybe join a Zoom mastermind. Even if I was driving, I could, I could listen along. So overall, Super successful. I'm very happy. I'm excited. It made me feel that was a win. I had a, a big win over that. So um, you can do this program and travel. It's, it's doable. So I'm looking forward to the next trip. I know I can do it then too. Thanks.